We've all sighed in resignation when three rounds of ads must play through before we can enjoy a minute long video. We see now young children like my six year old brother already spend hours on their tablets and devices watching videos and the ads that come with it. At times it's hard to pry him away when his eyes are glued to the screen and I'm afraid it will take a toll on his physical and mental health. As we saw in Social Dilemma, social media has led people down rabbit holes, thinking that the information they receive is how the world around them perceives those same issues. Instead of fostering healthy discussion, social media companies are generating narrow-minded conflict. With the speed at which information, both helpful and harmful, travels, it is necessary to ensure that crucial information about topics such as COVID-19 and the current situation in Ukraine are not drowned in a sea of profit-driven misinformation and disinformation. To address this issue, I propose that we ban online platforms from collecting wealth of data about users. Companies like Facebook, Google, and Twitter do this to micro-target advertisements, and currently, it's a core profit driver for them. They use this data and surveillance to curate each user's online experience, keep them on longer, and serve more advertisements, all to squeeze the last bit of money they can get from each user. By implementing the banned surveillance business model, this could limit a company's ability to optimize for engagement and reduce filter bubbles for users. However, there are many considerations. First, it's hard to enforce, and there's little incentive for companies to abide by this, especially if they re rely on this business model for revenue. It also standardizes the user experience and makes content less relevant for each user. With these limitations, it's evident that a complete ban on data collection and data surveillance is neither entirely feasible nor the most effective. In conjunction with banning unnecessary surveillance, companies must adjust user experiences based on age to prioritize children's well-being and prevent social media addiction at such a young age. Thus, we need to ban digital surveillance and enforce an age-appropriate design code for social media companies to ensure that healthy minds and a healthy society prevail over division and dispute. Thank you.